Hello there beloved ones and welcome to this video with me here today in this topic today I actually want to talk about two things okay so the first one is in our ever-expanding illumination of the self uh, this topic of knowing and recognizing the energies that coexist and exist also outside of us that are not our own primary inner energies that we are generating from our own being from our heart and learning to recognize them as they come into communication, communion with us, sometimes often also in meditation, in prayer work, and simply just being. Why I want to talk about this thing. So the first thing is the importance of the ever-expanding illumination, which naturally makes you more magnetic, which means that your own vibratory field, because you're becoming more of a powerhouse, more of a vortex, will draw in more of the energies that are trying to liberate themselves. As you know, in every path of ascension, your first job, your primary discerning path towards sovereignty is learning how to release energies within yourself, liberating your own essences, um, energies that are not yet existing within the essence state of purity. That's the design of the divine, which is the divine narrative of life. So these energies that sort of lie dormant and maybe have not yet recognized themselves as being a part of the light, that's the first job. It's a primary task to liberate these energies. I've recently channeled, and I wanted to do that for a while now when I compiled uh, different methods, uh, different visualizations or activations that Spirit's already given me, but I combine them and compile in one powerful light activation that works as the retrieval of soul gifts through the Akashic inner book. So it's your sacred self and learning how to read that and tune into that part of you that is always there through the inner dweller, the inner spirit that basically lives in your heart, your prime spark. And then using this um, vital gift, using these gifts of the soul to liberate energies within you. And that activation is available for my Patreon group, as well as it's downloadable in my page section that's called Downloads. So it's a very powerful activation, which you can use many times. And each time you're opening a new doorway within yourself. So in the importance of knowing that the more masterful you'll become, eventually reaching that state of complete union within the self and all aspects of you, you will become more powerful and also your service to this planet. So for me, as a creation pillar, a strong powerhouse, a vortex of light, sometimes I magnetize towards me different energies and it's my own task and assignment to recognize when they're not coming from within my own self. And the more aware you become, you basically recognize these energies through the vibrational patterns that you know you're not discharging basically yourself. So it's been written, already shared in the book of the so-called Emerald Tablets or the Emerald Records by Thoth. And he has stated that there's two primary uh, sources that when we feel, let's say, more negative energy or just energy that's not that aware of the self, it doesn't exist yet in illumination in that state. Um, we have to really move into our hearts and see whether that's our own energy something within ourselves whether that negativity is deriving from the self and i really don't like to use the word negativity so much because it implies such a polarized uh, good versus bad but it's more about the primal nature of understanding that whether the primal or, uh, or life forces that feed and sustain our natural spiritual nature which is contained within our heart or they do not support it so they kind of make us feel more negative or deprived of vital life powers or essences, make us feel toxic even and sick. And the second way of feeling that is when these energies are actually coming outside of us and then learning how to work with that. So when you have the power of discernment to, uh, you know, you've learned to do that within the self, especially for volunteer souls, they're very strong channels for releasing energies of not the internal source nature. So they're not coming from within themselves. But they're sort of assisting these energies by creating these uh, mini portals of light, let's call it like that, because we are not just receiving from the portals that have already been created and live in existence, but we're also generating our ourselves these portals. Um, this is not just something you can do by, you know, having 
not yet existing at that state of understanding and you're doing it with the mind. It's literally the language of light that comes through the evolution, development of spirit that comes into your form. Only then you're able to create this. This is the most natural understanding to all true uh, knowers of spirit and how spirit laws bas basically express themselves and govern this life in creation because it all comes and emanates from that law. So um, that's the first thing. Also, um, not just because you're becoming more magnetic, uh, the most important thing right now is that these elemental changes in the whole way that earth is being manufactured or you know it's containing itself is shifting itself uh, these even you know tremors like different earthquakes and so different uh, energies are actually it's almost like you can imagine they're shaking the fields they're not just shaking earth phys physically they're not just uh, having the effect on the physical aspect of the planet but all these shakeups and shifts are kind of like stirring up the energies that have been really, you know, sort of like dwelling within a very, very gross, dense matter or a very dense density, uh, simply said. So this is all invoking them and it's calling them to the light. So uh, this is the second factor, you know. So when you feel in your own state that something is off within you, and sometimes I have this feeling, always, always take the time to do the work because you can basically live your whole day or even longer with that energy swerving around you somehow. <laughs> it's like swerving and da da da, making its moves and you're not doing anything about it. So the idea here is that to become masters of energy, we're constantly generating energy. So energy is never just, is just there. There's always a certain consciousness behind the generation process of that energy coming into form, existing, having its notion, moving. Um, so when you learn to recognize patterns of discordancy distortion you're only actually able to do so because you exist at a higher frequency rate than that energy which feels it's more locked in it's more materialized right it's more encapsulated and many times this energy expression also has its voices it has its sayings it it might feel like it's speaking through you uh, it's giving messages uh, through you and you're going to have to be very discerning and whether you know what that energy is and whether it's truly you saying that or it's just an energy that somehow uh, maybe not always awareingly of that process but somehow behind this is the greed of notion that kind of pushes that energy to be liberated through you. So how to liberate the energies, right? Uh, you can use my light activation to assist you in the process of learning first how to do that within yourself because truly you're not fit to do any of this higher work in the lower realms uh, because, you know, it's stated in the Great Kabbalion that uh, the masters of the higher planes, they serve on these higher planes and they rule on the lower planes doesn't mean they have to be physically in, in rulership position. What these means is that uh, it means that they have a greater force of impact on, you know, they can give orders, the power of the word because of their nature, their signature of energy, which is a lumen, has an impact on this world, right? So just as they serve on the higher planes and they serve through the higher laws, they affect these lower laws on the lower planes, right? <clears throat> So even within the expression of the lower laws, there is still behind it a greater cause, a greater existential law or divine law. And <clears throat> by knowing the higher law, in knowing how to utilize it in lower planes, right, in these grosser matter activities, you basically can govern that. You become a master of the light in the dwelling of whatever maybe there's aspects of that light kind of held into a certain form that is a lower expression of that light. So often when these energies will come, they won't always come with the ill intent. You know, we always talk about these entities and how evil they are. And we have a very distorted notion here as humans. It's not always like that. Uh, like angels um, have told me today, right? The guides have said, not always these energies come with a bad intention or their ill intent, but they have somehow a contribution. They believe they're speaking their own voice, but that voice, that expression is not at a lumen, so they will give you messages or they're going to maybe speak through you or make you feel a certain things that don't really encapsulate this bigger truth, this higher perspective, because you know the higher uh, guidance system is truly based with serving the law of unity through spirit is always encouraging, it's always inspirational, it never gives you limited perspective or gives you ideas and time frames and things like that. It makes you feel like situation is static, it makes you feel lower and heavy in the body even. 
So what happened today, right, I felt this heaviness even when I woke up and the whole week before that I was in deep illumined state. I was receding and I was just so hyperactive. I was so infinitely creative basically in one week time frame. I, could able, I was able to do work for one month. It was that huge, the expansion. And then when I woke up with that feeling, it didn't make any sense because it wasn't coming from my own emotion. I really did the research. And then we said, okay, let's do a meditation for it because I know, you know, the sense of responsibility when something like this is felt. It, it can just be felt like a feeling like you have maybe many ideas, but you can somehow in this moment you can't pass them on. You can't put them into a framework of actually getting things done. It somehow feels like something is dense and you can't move through that density. Something is stopping you or preventing you. And usually it's because this energy that wants to be liberated is calling, right? It's, it's saying, give me the attention. So you will literally feel a feeling like you're stopped with the certain pursuits that you want to do because this is of more importance in this time. This is for me how spirit always shows me things. So in that notion, what that means is if you give it time to contemplate, to meditate, to reflect, it will usually reveal itself. And the more you master yourself, the more masterful you are, the greater power you will have. You will instantly know, you will discern the energies. And when I did this today, I was like, I'm the master. I know, I know how this is served through higher law. And it was instantly done because I was utilizing not just what I was learning, right? The whole week I was just studying. I was really, really absorbing this higher lumen laws and principles and it felt amazing but then I was actually asked to apply myself in that I was given an assignment and the assignment was to discern how these energies function so basically in meditation we asked uh, the angelic beings to give us guidance but somehow the guidance didn't feel like it's coming from this higher inspirational space and the funny thing was like I instantly recognized it and I said that's not the angelic realm they don't speak in this way and what I had to do in that moment I just felt it coming through my own state of communication how I needed to verbalize that was basically me addressing the energy and saying this is not that so where are you coming from what's your source right name yourself because we were basically feeling the energies coming through and it was just <laughs> it was just silence and then I said you know just if you're not of that absolute unity and law right step aside right step aside right now but that's not the only thing you're here to do right because most people just utilize the the law of protection you know of course it's important always evoke uh, you can either do white circle of spirit light uh, white sphere of spirit light uh, be in the presence of spirit uh, whatever fits you but you're not just when you're here of service and when you will be called to these kind of missions and again I put it into your heart that not everyone is at that level when you will be given such responsibility you have to have a really high refined understanding the light and a certain, you have to reach a certain quotient of illumination that you will even be given this assignment and this is just how it is but I'm speaking for those of you who feel maybe this is what you're entering into as an initiative um, to serve this part to know that this is what we're doing many of you will be maybe called to this at these times because there's so much stirring up coming right um, and it, these energies want to be liberated we are assisting that process like great matriarchs right um, so uh, the second part that's important it's not just say dissolve right step aside you know I'm only evoking the energies within the law of one that serve unity of the highest source but what I was suddenly shown is to help liberate these energies and I was given the practice of Aum because the Aum is as you know the great sound of, of creation of the most primordial sound that all the dwelling energies that exist in that shadow lurking state they don't really like it <laughs> <laughs> so when you use that sound, how many times you want it to reverberate through you, um, you know, you will usually be shown a much higher narrative of what's behind the, this picture. So I was suddenly given instructions and when I channeled, they just come through my voice, the word comes. And the extra instruction was um, to build, visualize this kind of like a portal of light and guide and assist these energies that if they're ready I was simply giving them an opportunity creating space that if they're ready they can move into a space without fear and that this space is the higher space of knowing themselves as light that is nothing to be feared and invoking the higher presences to assist that process um, of course that's a choice not necessarily every energy will go there you know beings who just say oh I, I release these energies into the light we don't have most people especially they don't just have the power to release any other being or entity into the light because first and for foremost you don't get to choose 
for an energy outside of you. We don't just send energies to the light, you know, with a magic wand. <laughs> Most people, they're not even capable of, of doing, they don't even have that work done within themselves to release aspects uh, of themselves that are still kind of trapped in duality, in separation, somehow be, have become fragmented aspects of themselves and they don't exist in their own illumined form. Uh, that's the first assignment always, so you can really become a sovereign being. But anyway, if you have... Um, a connection with spirit that exists within illumination you might be given those assignments so first learn how to do this for yourself that's my message and there's many tools you can do that the activation i created is so beautiful and powerful um i felt it's beautiful light when i was creating it and um the the second thing i want to say is that again it has to be for the highest good you can't just send another energy into the light it is not of your domain Right? Unless you're given a very high position in terms of spiritual discernment, awareness, and mastery, uh, which on earth most people <laughs> don't tune into. So I actually created this visual because it was funny right after the end, right? Um, we did it together, the meditation. And when these energies were coming through, I felt very, you know, it's just that energy of feeling non inspired. It was like that voice that was coming through was saying, this energy felt entrapped. And it was saying, I feel like in a fishbowl, you know, the fish feels like it's free, but it's not really free because there's a borderline there. Uh, even if it looks translucent, it's still there. It's still swimming within a contained space. And the energy was saying, well, that's just how it is on this planet. You know, no one is truly free on this planet. And then when you use the laws of truth, which means anyone can be free if they choose to be, then you can gently affirm to these energies that yes, you know, there is freedom. You are ready. You can, if you're ready, you can choose it. You can step into that space. And if you exist at that masterful space, um, the energy will, will recognize you as the divine authority, just like certain mineral kingdoms or, you know, these kingdoms are ruled by the Divic kingdom who also are sort of like they're rulers. They're like many rules. They're, they're governing um, deities in a way. So everything recognizes a state of, um, how to say this, governorship, <laughs> I don't know, a state of governing um, rulership over by a frequency. So you can't just say, this is it, but your energy does not emanate that. And the energy will know that because it exists outside of physical space. So it will feel it. So that's why I'm saying it only is able to function when you truly embody that light. The energy will recognize that. So within that space, it's real beautiful. And after we did that, because before, like I said, my mother had a headache. She said, oh, it's very heavy. And afterwards, we did the practice. It was such a beautiful light feeling. It was a feeling of total liberation. I got my inspiration back almost like in a second. I was able to do my own stuff. It's like it was it was unblocked. It was cleared. Because most people don't recognize this. Uh, these energies, what most people call entities, are usually aspects of themselves that have not yet been liberated. But they're somehow feeling them as projected outside of them because they're not aware enough. They haven't entered that state of innership which is the inner mastery apprenticeship when you will work with these energies within you. The second fact is that those who are here as volunteer souls, they're given the assignments to magnetize, attract these energies so they can work with assisting them to liberate them. That's the second thing that's important here, as you know. So then the energy was very light and expansive and I was somehow guided to pull one of the uh, you know, light worker oracle cards. Well, what, what I got was the ascension card, you know, with the rainbow bridge and being meditating, and it was a confirmation. And that's just how the um, little portal looked like to me. So I saw like um, how you can draw in this angelic presence, is visualizing it the way it truly is. And I always see like sprinkles of rainbow light that exist within one unified field, and there's many expressions. Uh, of that crystalline nature that you know belong in that so actually it was guided by spirit to make a drawing out of it I'll show you today right now uh, in case you want to use it uh, in your own work in case you want to use it to visualize that space to assist you um, as you know all of my spirit drawings now are available freely as a free gift to all of you because I love you so much because uh, I just love life I love beings I love life because I serve life and all these drawings to assist you in somehow connecting with the spirit that is the dweller within you and they exist on my page so it'll be no light you can find them on the holy spirit segment of the page as well as the most recent 
um, attainment, which is the Declaration of Love and 13 Sacred Holy Spirit Prayers. That's also my gift to you. It's quite a lot of typing behind it. <laughs> First channeling and a lot of typing. I don't like to do those computer things, though. So it was an act of my own goodwill, by the way. So in any way, when you um, buy products from my page, like... Um, light activations, channel messages, you support my work because this is, as you know, freely given. All my time is devoted to this. So people who do recognize this, they will perhaps through their own heart be guided to reciprocate in terms of energy exchange so they keep the flow going because it's just how the universal law works. Uh, otherwise, our heart keeps in the state of containment and it's never going to be fully expanded, right? Because we just take, but we never receive um, within that knowing you know, we never receive that knowing of, ooh, you know, this is this is um, an interplay of energy. So I'm going to show you the drawing now. It looks like this, right? And you can see this is the space of the, almost like these rainbow sparkles, the glitters of energy. It's this angelic space, which is coming from this realm here. So the rainbow bridge you can see here is a space of um, intermission. It's the in-between space. And this is this space uh, where we are now. And when these energies come in and you invoke them, and these energies here, you can see them as these gray spirals. When they're feeling this call, these portals that exist here that have been activated, it's like spirals of energy, then these energies will be sort of guided into them through light. They'll just be pulled into. It'll be a very natural process. So you can see this. You may also receive your own messages. All of my drawings are created in a way that my desire and spirit's desire is so that you tap into them through your own intimate connection and you might receive your own messages so i do not name or describe these pictures when i share them first on instagram sometimes um, i do a very short description uh, but i do not define them because a space of spirit is a space within which within which we all have to find a very sacred heart connection that will give us a unique version of what's coming through for us in a moment so yeah, you can get all that on my page. The second thing I want to talk about today is the magnetic nature, because as you know, the heart is the middle dwelling space. It's through the heart notion. It's through the heart love. Um, and I really highly recommend you to listen to Manly B. Hall's lecture called, I think it's called The Heart, The Seed of Life. Beautiful, beautiful lecture. So vast, so comprehensive. And it talks about also the tree of life um, being the heart right and the tree of knowledge of the good and evil it's in the brain and how these connect and uh, uh, basically also how this relates to our bodily system you know when we corrupt the heart we corrupt the body and how important it is to not distort the qualities of love and as you know this is the year of heart calling of illumination i tr uh, truly advise you sorry to listen to that um audio it's a sacred teaching also talks about the temple of the sacred the, um, which the mystics use which is the inner self they enter the cave which the cave is the heart and how the eternal life itself is all and all principle of life to which it all returns which is the only thing that truly is uh, that's like a emphasis of but it's so much there so it is the seed of silence it is the sacred heart um, of purity that has been represented also as the inner kingdom of god uh, you cannot enter without the purification of the body. So it's it's kind of like vice versa here. Um, and the heart is the emanation of the magnetic energy, as you know, and it sort of feeds uh, the magnetic system. As you know, the heart responds to the vascular system or the cardiovascular system in the body, the veins pumping blood, the blood as the sacred code of life. And the brain represents the electrical system, which is the nervous system, which basically uh, both together creates our magnetic nature. So you have two poles, right? South, north, and these three centers that I talk about, the, um, the higher mind, the heart, and the root, right? So the crown, the heart, and the root are the three or the divine trinity of these centers in the body that creates the magnetism. So it's from the heart that we pump that, you know, we, we, we create this inflow and outflow of energy which will constantly sustain our magnetic system. The second thing I'm going to talk about today, which is all about magnetic nature, um, is that I've recently channeled a, um, an audio. It was a spirit message about the magnetic nature and our own understanding of that through the mastery of understanding, right? 
what it is, how to apply ourselves, how to increase, expand our magnetic nature, why this is so important. I've shared this audio again on my Patreon. It is also available for those of you that want to be there uh, as an audio download. This supports my work, as you know, this is just many, many exchange, but it's, it's vitally important to keep the energy going and flowing. This was quite a writing. I will not read you the whole, I'll read you part of it, but the whole audio version, although it's very important, I wish I could read it all, but it's uh, kind of cold today. And I just, I can only do as much as I can. I'm studying a lot these days. Um, you know, here freely what I share, I can do what I can. Most of the work, as you know, I'm now doing on Patreon. It's all there. If you can just feel a call, if you wanna join, it's very simple to do so. Um, the reason also why I was strongly called to do that, as you know, so much is happening on our planet and is being talked about whether, you know, what's happening with the magnetic poles, how are they shifting, why are they shifting, uh, the rate, the speed of their shifting, how it's changing and it's, you know, it's intensifying. The speed is kind of like going up gradually like this. And what does this mean for us as a race? How will this affect our geographical, planetary um, changes but mostly also weather patterns right so the climate change some people are as you know they're saying it's going to get colder people are talking about no it's going to get warmer um so much confusion but as you know it's the magnetism that within this life of earth with within everything right uh, that belongs to the nature of magnetism whole life is sustained so we are each assisting we're each contributing to the collective magnetic nature but as I've shared before in my Illumin Union purpose video where I talked about that the importance of the Illumin Union is to create and generate this unified polarity which will create a neutralizing point of sustaining the magnetic field within the self and then the planetary service based, right? Because it connects directly with the life force activation. It's the life force that feeds this pranic essence right that revitalizes us it, it feeds into our system it contains our bodily functions as you know as it's also spoken in that uh, heart lecture that the pulse right the pulse of our heart is something we cannot control um, directly because it's it's a function of spirit and that's why the mystics have been entering the caves of the heart as the cave of the spirit there's many yogis who have been learning to to some degree and extent to regulate the heart uh, pulse but in itself it's not initiated by the human mind or the human counterpart it's a gift of life and life is spirit so in in terms of understanding what these changes are about we have to understand the natural law uh, after um most recent i think it was a cosmic ray impact i saw a video um it just popped up on youtube and i was like interested what it's about because someone was saying how they're actually covering the skies, you know, with these um, chemtrail clouds and all of it, regulating the climate. And the person said, you know, what if maybe they're trying to protect us, right? Because uh, that this magnetic pole reversal would not happen uh, as fast or it wouldn't happen to such an intense extent or degree. And I was really contemplating on that uh, because it's very obvious to us, as you can see, it's happening on these days when the cosmic ray stream or the solar um, stream is coming it's penetrating our planet it's always at these specific dates um, but the thing is whenever I ask spirit right because people are even talking about these glacial periods right and glacial periods are supposed to be very intense periods right when it's almost like the planet goes to rest <laughs> in a way and there's much non-understanding because spirit says to me it's about why this is happening not just what is happening and most people they're measuring they're giving information but not a lot of people not a whole lot is going deep and really moving into their heart to feel what is spiritually trying to say what is the the bigger message why this is happening and how will we be affected in truth we we don't know because so much is at stake there's so many factors and degrees variables that affect you know the overall accu accumulation or computation point of this um, you know this unfolding but what I want to talk about is first and foremost any control change of our planet of the environment of the climate that is controlled like they're spraying these aerosols or whatever they're spraying these uh, toxic heavy metals and so it goes against nature 
So if anyone thinks, well, maybe they're trying to protect us. No, they're trying to protect themselves and their beliefs because they have a very distorted vision or version of what's truly taking place because they're not rooted within their hearts. These beings who have that amount of control on the planet at this time, they have very closed off hearts. Therefore, they have very narrow minds. And because of that, they only see to one extent what's happening. And because of their fears, because they're not connected to a greater scope of life, they're trying to control this process. So in any way, it means you're controlling the process. And if anything is toxic and damaging that's being used in the process, you cannot say that it's actually protecting us. As you know, it's, it's killing off many species of the planet. Many animals are dying. Humans will continue to die because of the effects and consequences uh, of these changes. Um, yes, you know, people can die of cold and these things, but that's like a, a natural non-adjustment. It's not something someone physically has done to the system, that it damages the system. So I will read you the part of this message, and then I'm really cold. And you can use um, your time wisely by studying um, the nature of the seed of the heart, the seed of life. Uh, beautiful lecture from Manly Hall. Um, you can go to my page. You can join my Patreon to get all these messages. I believe it's very, um, how to say that, it's more affordable if you join the Patreon because you're actually going to get messages at once for that energy exchange instead of buying them separately. But if you feel you only want a product or something here and there, because, you know, sometimes people are like this, you can just see what resonates individually. Um, but that's just how it is. Uh, but con do consider the laws of also my own time and investment in this. If these things do support your spiritual process and investment. So at the end of the message, because I'm not going to get to that point today, uh, there's also a call out to those beings who really strongly hear as planetary life servers. If you feel that's you, uh, this message, it really strongly calls out to these forces and to reinforcement, a reinforcement of us and how to basically assist this process through um, not just supporting our magnetic fields, but becoming first aware of their mechanics, uh, their creation principles, how to govern them, but also how to expand them, not just modulate, regulate, but to expand them because this is what we're here for. So let's get on to the first part of the message. So the magnetic nature and understanding through creation principles by spirit, <laughs> written by me. The understanding of the magnetic nature of life is very complex and therefore it is only available to the most devoted students and initiates of life as spirit. It is in its primal nature also very simple to comprehend once one is able to get to the bottom or the core of the matter and therefore specifically that which can not only be observed or proven by science at this current level of understanding. At the very core of the matter, the nature of magnetism and its relation to electricity relates to the universal law of polarity, and because the current or collective field of science has not yet wedded spiritual or mystical nature of the ancient understanding of divine law as sacred religion, it can therefore not grasp it completely and not truthfully. Science has studied the visible nature of the atom and, in some cases, the magnetic nature and the belonging relationships and dynamics, such as the corresponding inflow and outflow of energies, but it has not yet been able to tap into the mystical properties of the nature of spirit. That's behind it all. Therefore, what is currently occurring on this planet is a direct result of the approximation and distortion of energy laws and their manifestations, which resulted in many misinterpretations and manipulation of what that relationship dynamic seems to be, rather than what it truly is. As you're emotionally aware, there is a strong magnetic shift and change occurring on this planet, which is a result of so many varying factors of life, which is spirit. And therefore, it functions and operates according to the laws of spirit or the divine law. There are many laws that flow out as emanations, extensions, and specific consistencies from the great law of unity or the universal law of oneness and all are the on and all that's held within it. If you study the hermetic principles, you will learn that there are seven basic hermetic or law-willed principles which govern all creation, manifest and not manifest. In your own deepening of that study through spirit, you can also learn of the correspondence of these laws as they intertwine and create a cohesive force that flows through all life. Everything in life falls under the governing order of these principles. 
And as they enter into the manifest creation, they become the so-called creation principles. In the very essence of things, those beings who have attained their inner sacred marriage or the holy lumen union, known also as the hermetic marriage, have done so through the direct application of these principles and have therefore directly as well as indirectly gained awareness of these principles and their governing faculties through the knowledge of self. For only through the complete knowing of self, which lies at the core of all creation, is the knowing of the great law obtainable and understood. It is done so through various experiences of the personal nature, which eventually lead the self to knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, gradually turned into distilled and crystallized illumination. Through these illumined principles, then, all of creation can be understood from the core of the self to the core of the atom, to the core of all life in creation. Therefore, when man knows the law, man will build an internal consistency and harmonization with it, living according to its principles. When man has forgotten the law, man will not obey it and live according to its principles, eventually making his own conclusions or assumptions from which he will build his own reality. This, however, does not mean that another reality will not exist, one that's infinitely more expansive and built according to the principles of the law. The very same applies to the various attempts at this time to study the nature of physical nature and its correspondence in relation to all things as they appear to be. If man bases his reality upon his own conclusions, half-truths and assumptions, it doesn't mean that a higher truth is also not present. Man tries, man fails. Any time when the law is not understood and applied, there is failure. All attempts to conquer nature and the natural law shall always fail, leaving man bedazzled, impoverished, and more estranged from himself and his environment, which is all others and all of nature, all of life. Until the point when inner harmony and alignment with life, which is first spirit and only then matter, or the great atum, is achieved and embodied through self-integration, there shall always be failure. Let us use this basic reference in relation to the current situation of the magnetic shift. There is not one single fact of understanding the cause of this shift because there are actually several. Man can measure these effects and say, yes, the magnetic pole of the planet is shifting and we may reach the point of reversal. But even all science that's currently available cannot meet the understanding of what's happening metaphysically. Firstly, it's because the understanding of the law of polarity should be studied and applied synonymously. And secondly, because this is not a single or a linear event or phenomena. It is a multidimensional in nature, which means that the studies applied should be diverse and multidisciplinary in nature. So, then the rest of the message unfolds, quite a few pages. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, it's not just time to measure. Uh, the mystic part of creation is so important. Those of you who are doing your own inner tuning into, who are the mystics of life, who walk behind the scenes, who do your own work, and are receiving bigger pictures, bigger visions, do know that that's really important. You're helping to sustain uh, the greater vision. I've talked before about the killing off of the species, which also creates, uh, it's like a fall, a drop in, in you know, the magnetic nature. Na animals are so important, you know, in the shamanism, they are the sustaining forces. It's like acupuncture points. So they're so divergent in their nature. In, different regions of the planet and they act as these points of entry and with us strongly killing off the animal species polluting the planet we are creating greater and greater toxicity this is happening and whatever shall happen you know we don't have control over it from the outside but the only control comes from the inside which is learning how to use the spiritual processes of heart regulation of heart love cultivation as you know everything i'm doing now is focused on cultivating heart love there are messages uh, for that on patreon there will be more messages and readings to receive these higher messages of love because this is where we begin this is where this work truly begins there's also one uh, activation that came through a session i had recently with a companion it was a very important message and it was also about the understanding of you know, reaching the body's magnetic nature expansion and that the spirit intelligence or the soul gifts can even be applied uh, because there's many beings who have a very important successive lineages of the soul, but they can't fully imply those gifts or utilize them at the higher 
vib vibratory rate until the body's frequencies are also raised, which is what we can only do through life force mastery. And that's why I've developed its courses to assist you with that. Um, as well as the orgasmic nature of our being. Um, I've explained before that for me, only through the orgasmic nature is basically the, the emanation of that. So it, it uh, instantly uplifts and regenerates your field and it it's like moves it to the next octave which assists the whole as well so there's a cosmic orgasm understanding through that course available on my page as well this for me is such an important work at this time and as a planetary guardian in a way and servant to our life i invite you to do consider taking the part if you feel your card calls you um, the heart calls you towards this you want to learn more about the heart you want to move more deeply into the heart it's not just saying all is love it, it's not enough you know um we really literally do the work within our own magnetic field and we do need the synthesis of both science which is basically the knowledge it's not just measuring things with cups and devices it's the science that's the anatomy of our body that holds the key to all universe and the cosmic principles of life, the creation principles that make and sustain all life, and aligning our natural resources by aligning our bodies with all that's natural, all that is of nature, instead of, you know, seeing all that's happening now as the opposite of that, all that we try to do, all that people do to control that out of fear. But all that's being pushed towards that direction, which feels it's a more negative one for the species, is because the species, this current race on the planet has been driving life forces towards these processes which are deeply destructive so whatever happens will happen as a result of that collective and we're not in charge of that nature will take care of itself and life will come again life will revitalize in you um, but it is up for us to do the utmost work that's within the integrity of our heart and it's the heart's integrity that creates the integrity of our magnetic field and that is why I will talk about magnetism in the course also um, on patreon it will be next month I'm preparing this course now uh, so yeah it's time so if you would also uh, if you're interested about what I was saying of this light activation coming through right uh, that currently came through with the utili utilization of these soul gifts um, the activation was mostly on how basically our light families and these lineages of us of the soul ha can reach the lineages in the physical realm right because it's it's within the ancestry and the physical you unlock the gifts of the greater soul gifts because we all have the soul lineage and then the physical descent different successive generations behind this it's also important so how this meets it's in this it's in the heart and if the heart is not in resonant attunement and it, it has an expansive field of this magnetic discharge basically these filaments of light that are coming they cannot be received it's almost like they're just passing through until the heart is ready to catch them so it was the light family speaking and coming through these pulsations and reaching the heart and us really hearing it um, and it takes the um, upcharge of the body to that level so that's in that activation and the picture wanted to fly now which means it is time to fly <laughs> in a way the wind came and almost took it uh, took it over uh, the flow of life force is in control of everything that life is really felt in the silence in our hearts it's cultivated in the love we bring about every day in the creativity we bring forth to this world every day as i do my work you do yours and in honor and respect to that i will um, invite you to reciprocate in the way you feel most called uh, in whatever way you feel if you feel so and uh, that's it for today. <laughs> um, you can find all the products I've been talking about in the links down below. With much love, appreciation, always divine service of life.